everyone welcome back to my channel if you are a loyal subscriber and if you are for the first time stopping by my channel welcome this is pen to paper and I am Leah Lindman author of the Canadian reminiscence series if you want a link to my books they are down below in the video description box today I wanted to talk a little bit and maybe present a discussion on having a mentor in your field. Now, you could apply this to any field, but I'm thinking specifically as an author. And I believe that all of us have people that we look to as examples in our lives. Examples maybe to be a good mother or a good father or a good YouTuber or people that we look up to and they just seem to have it all together. So we want to know what their tips and tricks are and how do they write so well? How do they read so many books in a year? We all have people that we look up to and that sometimes I think we wish we would have a mentor in the field of our choice. So if you're a YouTuber, maybe you're first time starting out and you're like, you know, I'm just going to start my channel and that's great, but maybe I would like to have someone who could mentor me in, I don't know, editing or how do I come up with content from week to week. And I'm going to be specifically talking more about authors and how it's so important that authors, whatever step you're at, that you have a mentor. Why is it so important? Well, I have a few reasons why it's important. Number one, we are not meant to live alone or we could survive on our own, but we are meant, we were made for community and accountability and reaching out and helping those in need around us. So whether you are the person who is being mentored or being a mentor, um, also, another reason why I think having a mentor is so important is that um, you have a personal connection to someone who has more experience than you. It cuts down on you having to research everything, but it also gives... It's interesting how when you are a mentor yourself, how much you learn about yourself and sometimes even about the craft of writing by mentoring someone. So it's not just a win for you and a um, a win for you and it's and it's difficult for them and it's extra stress for them. Maybe the person that you ask to be your mentor, uh, that would be their response. But finding someone who is already actively trying to help the community of authors and someone you look up to would already be a good place to look for as a mentor. So I wanted to kind of throw this discussion out there. Do you have a mentor? If you're an author, are you a first-time author? Um, are you trying to navigate, you know, self-publishing, traditional publishing? Um, how do I put together a plot? Um, how do I make characters work with each other? What should the dialogue be like? Maybe you're foundering this alone. And if you are, and if you come to this channel, I'm so glad you found me because maybe I can't be your personal mentor. Maybe I can. <laughs> but if I can't, at least I feel like I'm giving back to the community in some sort of way. And for me, it's a real blessing to do this for you. And so definitely the first step to accountability is watching channels like mine where we talk about writing tips and advice and, you know, listening to that. But there's something to be said for the personal connection of a one-to-one -one, being mentored and having a mentor. Uh, sorry, being mentored and mentoring. And I want to ask, why don't we do this more often. Why do we hesitate to ask someone to mentor us? And I think 
One of the reasons is that we're scared they're going to say no and we don't want to deal with rejection. And there is a good chance that they could say no. But there's also a good chance they could say yes. And you might be missing out on an opportunity that you could catapult yourself faster through the steps and stages towards success just because you were too afraid to ask. And I want to ask you to stretch your comfort zone and, you know, scout out maybe two or three different people that you think would be good mentors to you in your craft and go ahead and ask them and see what they say. And I feel like although we're too scared, we have this mindset that they're going to say no. I'm going to say there's a good chance that they're going to say yes. I know that if someone asked me to mentor them, I would feel very honored. Maybe the only reason I would say no is that I didn't feel like I could justify having them as a mentoree because I couldn't give them or I wouldn't prioritize the time to give to them. But um, I know that if someone did ask me, I would really sit back and think about how I could prioritize time to mentor them. And so yeah, I know that I would be honored if someone did ask me. I mean, just someone asking me to review their book for the first time this month as a booktuber, I was honored and I said yes. And I feel that if this person that did ask me to mentor them in their writing you know, didn't just kind of come up. It would be different if they just came out of the blue and they didn't try establishing a relationship with me, but was like, hey, I heard you're a writer and, um, you know, can you mentor me? I might not be so as inclined to do it. There's a way to approach people to ask to mentor you and that is all about relationships and networking and community and just building that relationship with them that they're aware of you and you're aware that they know that you're aware of them and you know just kind of already starting that friendship before as a base before you kind of take that next move into asking them to mentor you I highly suggest that you do find a mentor for your craft and you won't know until you ask. So you don't know what kind of opportunities you're robbing yourself of by not asking. Maybe another reason why you're not willing to ask someone to mentor you is that not that you're scared, but you think, I'm good, I can do it all on my own. And I tend to be this thinking, and it's very debilitating. Scared, yes, too, but more on this side. And I'm going to poke your balloon with my little needle <laughs> and tell you that maybe you're too proud to ask for help and you're too proud to take help. And pride doesn't really lead to anything good or encouraging in your life. So an act of humility, being humble, is that you say, I don't know everything. I have a lot to learn. And I could sure use some help from someone who has done this before. Why make all the same mistakes again? Why live in this circular pattern when I can learn from someone who is willing to help me, who is probably willing to help me? So it may be that as well, that you're just too stubborn to want to listen to someone else. You know, maybe you feel like all your ideas are good, but trust me, they aren't. <laughs> there's always something that we could do better in our writing, or there's always something we could do better in our marketing or the journey that we're taking that we can learn from someone else. And hopefully, I'm hoping that you and I, if this is an issue for us, that we could take our 
eat our piece of humble pie and say, you know what, I'm willing to listen and I'm willing to be mentored and I'm willing to learn from someone and I realize that not every idea I have is the most amazing one out there. And just being a part of this community of booktubers and author tubers over this past year and listening to a lot of live interviews that have been going on uh, specifically at uh, Nikki's channel, Dark Between Pages, and now Paper Cuts Live that is headed up by Brad Proctor and The World According to Jay. And hearing all those authors come on and just having this great appreciation, they may not be mentoring me specifically, but just listening to what they have to say in their journeys of writing and how we're learning from them. But then again, I think there's a difference between just listening to someone that you don't really know to then having that personal um, connection with them and being willing to take what they say to you, knowing that you know them a little bit more personally. So that's another thought to consider as well. Another reason why maybe you don't feel like you could ask someone to mentor you is you just don't know where to look. And... When it comes to that, I highly suggest there are so many groups out there that my mind has been blown how, um, you know, just BookTube and AuthorTube have really opened my eyes to how many people are out there who are willing to help and connect and network. And so I suggest just sitting down and doing your research. Um, because of COVID, obviously a lot of in-person events have not been happening, but once that starts up again, if you're a writer and you want to meet other writers and editors and people in your field, then go to those conferences where you can actually meet these people and make friends and, and learn from people like face to face. That's so important. But since you can't right now, or maybe it just depends where you live, um, you know, you can do that online as well. And I know we might all be sick and tired of online stuff, but put time into investing into your networking. So you don't know people, you, it's up to you to go find those people or being open to chance opportunities that will be a catalyst to bringing you into those groups of people. Also, you know, um, Make connections with people on BookTube and AuthorTube and people on Goodreads and readers. Just not just marketing your stuff out there and throwing it out there and be like, okay, people are going to read my stuff. No, to actively engage with people on social media will also help bring your way and you inching closer to word. Um, you know, that perhaps that potential match of someone who could be your mentor. But you're going to have to do your research and find the way to find that right person. So those are my three thoughts on, well, I've already stated why having a mentor is so important. I think I did. <laughs> and um, three, maybe three reasons why we're not asking someone to be our mentor. We're too scared that they're going to say no. We're too proud to ask for help, or we just don't know where to look. So I hope that this discussion has been helpful. Um, if you have any thoughts on it, I would love to hear from you down below. So type away, comment. If you like this video, go ahead and press the like button. And you want more BookTube and AuthorTube content on a weekly basis, go ahead and hit that subscribe bell. And I'll see you next week with a book tag, probably. Take care.